Traveling Mail.com. It's our first full day in Florence and we're fighting jet lag, so we're going to try to stay awake all day. And we're going to do that by going to the Leonardo da Vinci Museum. We tried to get up early to get here, but our neighbors are so loud that we stay up all night, every night, listening to them. So it's 9.15, the line's not too long, and here we go. Looking forward to seeing the David. <laughs> Everything I read said that even though there's tons of people and it's crowded and it's overdone and you see Davids everywhere in Florence, when you come around the corner and see the real thing, it's still um, inspiring and awe-striking and such. Well, that was pretty intense. Uh, I'm glad we went. It took me 20 years to get there, but uh, I did it. Um, there's so much going on there. It's hard to take the time to appreciate it. It feels like you're just missing so much, but coming around the corner and seeing the David was, uh, just like they say, it was sort of a wow moment. Uh, and I highly recommend it. One of the museums I've really been looking forward to is La Specola and I think it's gonna be kind of a funky, weird museum, and we're already thrilled to death with the uh, rhino hanging from the webbing up there, and can't wait to see what else is inside this funky natural history museum. was worth our 13 euros, I do believe. There were a lot of, um, tons of dead taxidermied animals, which is not necessarily my favorite, but also once you got through those, which was cool to see, um, are all these human wax um, autopsied figures, which were weird and gross and cool and just from a different time period. So that's kind of why we came and I'm psyched we saw it. It's a very different thing to see in Florence. Museo Galileo, as you might guess, is all about Galileo. And there are some great interactive exhibits on the, the uh, bottom floor. And then the two floors above it have instruments, um, scientific instruments collected by different people from that time period. And it's a really cool museum with a neat sundial out front.
we're going to the museum of the Duomo. I think it's called Museo Opera Duomo, something to that effect. And I think we get to see the original Doors of Paradise because they have replicas on the back of the street. And I don't really know what else is in there, so we're going to find out pretty soon here. is the world famous Uffizi Gallery and we are heading in on our last day, our first time to go see it. We're excited to see a lot, but um, primarily Botticelli's two paintings, La Primavera and Birth of Venus, and whatever else catches our eye in this world famous museum.